All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. How is it seven o'clock already? Ah, I know, Gerald. I know. Okay. Look at my desk. Look at my desk. Let's just look at my desk. Oh my God. This is my life, you guys. This is it. This is me. I will never change. I, I tried to change. I was just telling Karina that I came down to craft this afternoon. Hello, Karina. I came down to craft this afternoon and my desk was clean. It was spotless and it was glorious. And the angels sang and I crafted and it was good. And then I created and it was not good. Now, now I'm dealing with the aftermath that is, wow. Okay, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up. You're going to watch me clean up uh, as we're waiting for people to jump on because I do have... Hello, everyone. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi, Coral. Marcella. Trina. Hello, hello. Um, I'm going to wait for probably till 7.03 at least until we kind of get this going because I need to tell you how to cut the paper. And so I hate when I start cutting the paper and then somebody jumps in and they don't know what we're doing. So... Elizabeth says, of course, my home state in Australia is back in lockdown. I thought I read that earlier. What the heck, Elizabeth? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Chris Stones from Australia. Look at that. Chris Stones from Australia is commenting right above Elizabeth Mayer from Australia. So welcome, ladies. I love my Australians popping in and saying hello and hi ho I think we're missing a few of our regulars tonight. Oh, just watching tonight, hey? Oh, my goodness. Hi, Rachel. Hello. Yeah, it's, um, oh, I know. Today Today was an insane day. So, again, pardon me while I ramble for a few minutes. Hi, Gail. Uh, I'm just waiting for people to jump on so that they don't miss the cutting instructions and so I can find the top of my desk. Like, look at me. <laughs> Even my hair is tired today. Um, Mondays are always busy. They, they're always busy, right? Uh, they're my busiest day of the week. So, oh, hello, Christine McKay from Winnipeg. You have not commented before, have you? I don't think so. I know most of my names. How did you find us? Christine, are you on somebody's team from the weekend? Hi, Mary. Hey, Kevin. Nice to see you, my friend. Look who's participating. Nicole, shut up. Hi, Paulette. Are you actually crafting with us tonight, Nicole? Nicole, look, Kevin's here. Say hello to Kevin. Kevin, where are you down east? Are you in Nova Scotia? T talk to the people while I try to find the top of my desk for a minute here. Look at this. Okay. Oh, where's my... Okay. Oh, you guys. You guys. You guys. You need this vacuum in your life. Honestly. Like, okay, these pieces I could scoop up, but this is so much more fun. Oh, look at that. I love this thing, you guys. Amazon. Get yourself one. It is, oh, that's my new favorite toy. Anyway, no, not as a team, but Denise. Okay. All right, Christine. I'm sorry if you have commented. You might have a while ago. Uh, just around the corner from Peggy's Cove. Oh, Kevin, how lovely. Is that, uh, Kevin, is that where um, Christine is too? Because I've seen her post some pictures from Peggy's Cove. So she is she near you as well? Oh, oh, look at that. I'm breaking my cord here. What's going on? Okay. All right. Um, all right. Let me. Um, sorry, I'm just reading. Um, I'm just reading a post. You've seen, uh, if you follow me on my personal page, I've been posting a lot about the residential school situation. Hi, Lucy. That's been going on. So I just, I was just getting a message from a friend and uh, it's been upsetting me all day. So I'm, I'm having some difficult conversations uh, about the whole residential thing because I'm so ignorant um, to the whole, to the whole topic. I don't even know what's proper terminology. Like I don't want to offend anybody. And so then I don't ask questions and then I feel bad. I don't ask questions and I don't know. But if you don't know, how do you know if you don't ask the questions? So, <laughs> oh, Nancy, my dinner isn't done. It's upstairs on the stove. Oh, Nancy. Okay. All right. Well, I think I've, I think I've carved off enough space here that I could actually maybe make a card. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Hi, Janet. Thanks for popping in. Oh, she's your neighbor. One street over. Well, there you go, Kevin. Fantastic. Gerald thinks that's awesome. Have you met Gerald? 
Have you met Gerald, uh, Kevin? That's my screaming goat. Okay, so now that I've shoveled off my desk, let's get started with what we need to do. So get out Mr. Pointer. Here we go. Hi, Donna. All right. Standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. Then we're going to need a six inch by six inch piece of designer paper. I'll tell you how to cut that in a minute. Then we're going to need a bunch of layers in a quart, like in a color that looks nice with your cardstock. So here they are. They are all two and a quarter wide, and then they are three and a quarter, four and a quarter, and five and a quarter long. I know, right? Everybody loves Gerald. You gotta love him. Really, really need Gerald. You do, Nancy. Seriously, get your butt down to. I got this at uh, my girls got it at Indigo or Chapters. Uh, you can also order. Um, who is it? My friend uh, Leanne, Leanne Livingston. Um, she has a, like a bull a bullhorn. Is no, what's that? Look at the hockey games. Uh, I don't know. You press the button, it's like <laughs> it's like it's hilarious. So she has one of those. But go on Amazon, and you can find all kinds of neat stuff. All right, so we've got cardstock layers done, uh, a large shape for your sentiment or for an image, and then of course your trimmer, stamps, ink, ribbon, and embellishments, and usual tools. All right, so let's start off by folding our card base. All right, so yes, it's 7.06, so everybody should be in, and I just wanted to wait to make sure that everybody kind of followed along with the cutting instructions. So we're going to fold our card base, use your bone folder, make that nice and crisp. Okay, we're going to put that aside, because now we have to cut our designer paper. So I am trying to use up. Scads. Oh Lord, where's my trimmer? I don't know where my trimmer is. <laughs> oh, there it is. It fell. I thought it was in the other room. I was prepping for a class at breakneck speed today and things were literally flying. So I'm not surprised it's on the floor upside down. Um, anyway, I'm on a, on a mission to use up as, mo as much of my retiring designer paper as I can because this retires at the end of June. Um, anything that's in our mini catalog, which is the little sideways weird one, this one. So everything that's in here retires at the end of the month. And speaking of, I haven't even had time to post this anywhere, but um, there's a sale starting tomorrow, sure is, on retiring stuff. So I haven't even posted the list, but there's a list of retiring products and a lot of them are on sale. Like some are up to 50% off some of the dyes. So here's top tip, whether you're a demonstrator or not, if you see any of the any of the things that are on sale, um, generally people will get a bundle. So they'll get the stamp set and the um, coordinating dies at the same time because you save 10%. But during these kind of sales, um, yes, I will sew, Nancy, you bet. Um, during these sales, if the dies are 50% off, get the dies at 50% off and pay full price for the uh, stamp set if it's not on sale because that's going to save you more money than 10% off the bundle. So that's a top tip. But uh, tomorrow I'll be posting the link and stuff goes on sale tomorrow because this retires at the end of June. So this paper I might have three packages of and I do not know why. I think I might have done a bit of an ordering boo-boo. Um, it's lovely, but I haven't been using it. So is this one the love... Oh, love you always specialty designer series paper. It's not double sided, but you get, I don't know what you get. You get 12 sheets for each of these three designs. So I'm going to use up a bunch of these. I had them cut in six by six already. It does come in 12 by 12, but this is what I'm using. I'm going to make all these cards into birthday cards tonight. So I'm making one, two, three, four, five, six. Apparently I'm making seven cards tonight. They're all going to be the same because enough of this nonsense. You know how I struggle with my um, with my embellishing. So I kind of struck on a pattern I like, so we're just going to go with it. Right, so you take your, uh, your paper, and now Nancy says hers is directional. So what we're going to do, Nancy, is if this is the way that it's directionally important, so say these are cats or dogs or something that are facing you, this is the proper direction you want it, turn it a quarter of a turn. So we're going to cut off an inch off the bottom. Okay, so it's this way. It's a six by six this way is the proper direction. Turn it a quarter because we want to cut one inch off the end. I should really find my cutting instructions somewhere. 
Wow, I have no idea where they are. Super. <laughs> eh, we'll wing it. Okay, so we're going to cut that at five. How hard could this be? Cut it off. Cut off one inch. Put it aside. Okay, turn it back. So this is the proper direction. So it's six along the top and five down the side. Okay, so this is six inch wide. You're going to cut it two, two, two. That's easy, right? Two. Two, two. All right, so that's what you've got so far. This piece is good. It's done. This one, turn it. We're going to cut it at four. Like cut it at four. And the last one, you're going to cut it three. Oh, I haven't even looked, Kevin. I haven't even looked. Don't know. It could be on sale. And it's great. Okay, so this is what we have left. All right. So we've got these pieces are two inches wide. This one's two by three, two by four, two by five. And this is just scrap. So we can use this to put uh, line the envelope or to put on the inside or to use for another project. But we're not using that today. So this is what we've got. Two, two, two by three, four, five. Okay. Does anybody need me to go through that again? Because I will. Because I got lots more to make. So I'm going to do it again. If this is the direction you want, turn it a quarter. Chop off an inch. Turn it back. Two. Two. And it's two. This one's already five. It's two by five. Two by four. So cut this at four. And two by three. Cut it at three. Everybody with me? Okay, we're almost done. Now, I'm going to give um, credit where credit is due here. Uh, this is a layout that I found um, from Leanne Greff at flowerbug.typepad.com. So she had actually done a technique that's called triple time stamping. And I thought, well, that's very nice, Leanne. I remember triple time stamping, but I'm going to do a triple time designer series papering. <laughs> And so it's a similar look, but using designer series paper. So thank you to Leanne for the inspiration. So now I'm just going to mount each of my designer papers on my colored layers. So you can see these ones again, they're all two and a quarter wide, and then three and a quarter, four and a quarter, five and a quarter. So they're pretty easy dimensions to remember. And we're almost done, seriously. I miss our Tracy. Tracy is working her little butt off. Uh, she retires in 11 days. So you know what it's like before going on holidays for two weeks, how busy you are. Imagine how busy it is when you're retiring for life. <laughs> so she's a little busy. Uh, okay, now we're bringing back in our card base. And that's it. We're Where's my sample? I need my sample. So now I am going to layer mine like this. I'm going to tape it all down like that, but you do you. Oh, Tracy. Hello, honey. You could do it this direction, but if it's directionally important, then that won't work. You could do, I mean, you can do whatever you want, right? You can, oh, hey, ah, might have to get creative here. Like, oh, oh, look at me go. Okay. You could do all kinds of different things. Okay. All right, Nancy. All right, go turn off the oven. Uh, you could do it this way, like whatever you want to do. So I'm going to show you my final project because, you know, it's 714 and that took all of what, four minutes. Um, here's the final one I did. So just so you know where, where I'm going and then you can take the time to do the layouts you want and get creative. Uh, here's another one that I made with um, same idea just different cards I wasn't sure if this was too dark for a spring birthday I don't think so though I love this reminds me of our old um, chocolate chip and pretty in pink combination that I loved really really pretty uh, I thought I would show you these are the label dies that are in the new catalog don't overlook them they are quite fabulous and they're all over the place here. Ugh. 
here they are here, or some of them anyway. And there's even another little piece that cuts out um, the little doomahickey, because <laughs> that's a technical term, that you would find on a proper tag, like if this was a store-bought tag, right? So you glue that on there. So I did that here. I glued that one on there. So these I've just layered the two, the biggest and the next biggest. And this one I didn't. What do you think? Uh, what is your background color? Espr yes, this is espresso for my layer. Uh, this one is the Blushing Bride. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one I like better. Which one do you like better? I think I like this one because it pops more. Can't decide. But it, uh, I'm going to be making a whole bunch of them. So while we chat, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, so this little piece, it cuts out four of these little, they look like um, reinforcements, like our binder, you know, when you used to have binders and loose leaf paper, they look like reinforcements. So pink, you like the pink one? This one better? Hi, Kathy. Yeah. So yeah, this one's more feminine. And for that one, I actually, I used liquid glue, which I very rarely use um, to attach the faux suede ribbon. Now this one, full disclosure, it will bump up your postage. So that's one that you want to include with a hand given gift. So you don't have to pay a fortune in postage. This one is our, um, whatever that is. Yes. Hi, Lynn. Hello. The brown, brown and pink aren't too, you'd, Oh, totally, Kevin. Yeah. No, no. That was uh, These were the colors I used all the time when we had our chocolate chip and our pretty and pink. So, all right. So I'm just going to keep on going. And uh, I guess I don't really know what I have to talk about tonight. So it could be a bit of a painful show. I, I don't know what to talk about. Uh, did you use rectangle dies for your designer series paper in the layers? No, ma'am. I just cut them. Nope. These are all just cut. Were you here for the cutting dimensions, Debbie? You're going to cut a f um, one inch off the bottom, one inch off the bottom, and then you cut two, 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 and then one strip is five inches, four inches, three inches, and then just the layers that go with it. So I'll, I'll leave the post-it note up for the layers, because you can see that. And then, so maybe I'll just have a little play. I'm not very good at this playing business. That's usually when I fall apart, right, is the, uh, is the embellishing. But I could just do the same thing as this one. How is Becca doing with her new job? She hasn't started yet, Debbie. She goes for, um, oh, pink pirouette. Yes, Nikki, yes. Uh, she goes for her training, Debbie, on Wednesday. So tomorrow we have to go and get her some black pants because that's part of the uniform. Well, that's what they require for the black pants. Um, yeah, but she definitely has a different, a different vibe about her now. She's got a bit of confidence going on. And I think she's excited. She was uh, blown away when I said that she was going to be paid for um, for her training. She's like, I am? I'm like, yeah, you're going for four hours. So they're 60 bucks, you know? So I think it's great. So, But it changes things. You know, I said, oh, all of a sudden, yeah, even if we could travel to BC, you can't just up and go visit uncle. I said, now you got a job and you're not going to ask for time off when you're just starting a new job, right? So... Uh, do you want with the layers all different angles? Yeah, I think I will, Kevin. Yeah. This one I can't really do different angles, though, because it's the, it's the height that it is. But, um, yeah. I do like my angles. I really do. But I'm not sure because this one doesn't go. I'm just wondering... This is one of... This is a popular style, uh, a popular layout that I do a lot, actually, Kevin. Um on a lot of my other mystery card Mondays. So you could just do the two and absolutely you can layer them, angle them. Yeah. Hi, Jennifer. Yes, I'm going to get her. Hi, Carolyn. I am going to get her some nice, some good shoes. Um, my mom did that for me too. When I got my first job, uh, I was working at the golf course in the kitchen and she made me go buy the ugliest ugh, nursing shoes. I was mortified because I was like 17, 18 years old and I had these nurses shoes that were clunky and they were just horrible. But I mean, I knew it, I knew it was the right thing to do when she bought them. And back then, I think it was about a hundred, $110 rings a bell. Um, 
but I really didn't want to wear them. But I did, and I was grateful. Like, I, I knew it was the right thing to do, but really, I was quite mortified. Quite mortified, you know. I had a reputation. No, I didn't have a reputation to uphold, but anyway, I didn't want to wear them. <laughs> so here's some of the other... Here's some of the uh, cut-out pieces, so I don't have to cut all of them out. So this is the biggest one. So this is what I had done on my original card. And I grabbed the Celebrate. I had red wings. Ooh. Good to know. Now, did I clean up my ink? So, no, I did not. Who am I kidding? I used, for this card, Celebrate. Now, what stamp set is that from? I hear you cry. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had a late dinner, so I'm only just digesting. We usually eat at five. Today we ate at like six. It's crazy. Madness. So I used this one, Create with Friends. This is new in the catalog. Celebrate you. So I did the Celebrate in Blushing Bride. Here it is. Celebrate. And the U is in Early Espresso. Kevin, how did your card event go? You did a you did a, you had an event recently, didn't you? Good leather shoes with a nice rubber sole and cushion. Yeah, definitely got to have good art support. Haven't eaten yet. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <coughs> All right, Donna. Um, okay, so let's attach this to this. See, part of me wants to try this layout with, um, say, the ice cream paper or the um, well-suited paper or the well-dressed or whatever it's called. Um, but I also want to get <laughs> I want to get a bunch of birthday cards done. Um, and you guys know I pretty much fall apart when it comes to the decorating, so I don't know. Now, this I popped up on Dimensionals. Um, uh, dimensionals. Where are you? There they are. Okay. Do they say what color of shoes? No. I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't think that matters. They just said black pants, and then they give them the shirt and an apron, I think, and the mask. Team did an annual catalog extravaganza. It was very well attended. Good. Long day of lives. Yes. Yes. We did something similar, Kevin. Um, a bunch of demonstrators, my sisters, my silver sisters, um, across Canada, we had an event on Saturday and there were, ooh, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 presentations throughout the day. It started at 7 a.m. my time and went until about 5 p.m. my time. Every hour on the hour, um, something new started. Okay, I need another one of these things in blue or in brown. Um, yeah, and we did all techniques so everybody did a different um, a different presentation on a new technique. Not a new technique, a technique. And it's for our teams. It's, all, it's just for our teams. And yeah, it's a full day, but it's always fun. And uh, we're always surprised how much we learn from each other. It's like, wow, who knew that? And we all end up placing a lot of orders through Amazon afterwards, like this little mini vacuum. <laughs> I think everybody added this to cart. <laughs> 7 p.m. was it, Donna? Holy cow. I could, I had to step away. Um, I can't sit for that long. Uh, my back just won't do it. Um, yeah. Every hour, yeah, it was related to the new in colors. Oh, fun. We did, the first one we did was um, all to do with designer series papers. So we just all did a project with uh, designer papers. And I think the last one was just a different suite. But this one I enjoyed because it was different techniques. And there's so many, there's so many, gosh. I mean, we could do another nine, maybe not nine. We could do a, a whole nother event just on techniques, right? Like there's so many. Yep. Yeah, I know, right, Tracy? I um, So I had done spotlighting and then another one that I called uh, crafty embossing. I'll show you the projects in a minute as I finish. Uh, that was with my, it, um, Jennifer, that was, um, oh, words are hard, you guys. I'm struggling. 
I have a group of friends that I call my silver sisters and we banded together like three years ago and we've supported, we're our, our a little support group and accountability group and we work together really, 15 of us work together, um, sharing posts and work and stuff. So, you know, like a lot of the, um, a lot of the Facebook posts that I do, you know, of, of certain things that might be something that Shauna came up with and I just copied and pasted and, you know, my paper shares, she'll use mine, just change the numbers. So we work together a lot. And so we did 15 of us got, I think it was 15 of us this time got together and we do, um, we do an event for our teams. So 15 teams across the country got to take part in that. So you have to be a, you have to be a trailblazer or one of the sisters teams. Yeah. Did you, Mary? So yeah, Mary found a tip for using the Stamparatus to get, I use my elbow, right? Like to push on my Stamparatus. Well, was it Shauna's tip was to use a dry erase board to get even pressure. Okay, we're a, get, we're a cult, Nancy. <laughs> we're something. I don't know what we are. All right, so I'm just putting this um, this ribbon down. So yeah, that's what I did Saturday, and it was it makes for a long day, you know, because we moderate for each other, you know, um, we check the comments because the presenter, you know, it's hard to read comments and present at the same time. So that was Saturday, and Sunday I worked. I, I had planned to do my June birthday cards and get them in the mail, but um, it didn't even happen. I went upstairs, and I did spend three or four hours at the computer, but doing other stuff, <laughs> and so... Look at that. How easy. Oh, this one. I actually have some extra doodads. I don't know where I put my doodads. These are retired. It's okay. I'm using some retired stuff. No shame. I have a lot. I don't know where they are. Anyway, they're somewhere. I cleaned them up. See what happens when I clean up? Um, yeah, they are. I've, I bought a gazillion of these when they were retiring because I love them. You can color them with a Sharpie, any old color, and they don't bulk up your postage because they're flat enough. So I know I shouldn't be showing stuff that's not current, but I am doing because oh, I need to use up my stash too. There we go. Ta-da. Okay. So that's that one. I really, really kind of want to do, okay, I need a sip of water. Oh, it's almost gone. Mmm. I knew I should have grabbed another one. Do I want to do? I think I do. If you're using a double-sided piece of paper, then you can absolutely turn over one of them. Like if you're cutting, if you're cutting this paper and you want to use the other side for one of the layers, do that. So maybe I will. I don't know. I'm gonna do this, even though I shouldn't. I, I, this is how my desk ends up the way it ends up. Oh, okay, let's do some show and tell though before I do that because I want to show and tell. I finally finished my card for my upcoming class. Okay, now it is on the 11th of June and I have 11 people signed up, which blows my mind. I'm so excited about that. I started prepping for 16, so I do have extras. There is still time to order the stamp set if you're a gambling kind of gal or guy. Um, if I ordered... You know, the stamp set tonight, you should have it by Friday, a week from Friday. Um, but anyway, if you already have the stamp set, which is the Sunny Sentiments, Sunny Sentiments, which I don't know where they are. Do, do, do. They're lost. They were here and now they're gone. That'll teach me to clean up. Here they are. Here it is, Sunny Sentiments. So have to use up somehow. That's right, Kevin, you do. All right, so here's the one card that I've shown you before. So this is card number one. Card number two. Ooh. And this is the new one that I finished just hours ago. Card number three. Now this one, I am regretting some of my life choices on this one. The dies came in at 1130. I needed to get them in the mail before five. So I started prepping and I, I did it. I, I got her done. But um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a big shot in, and a lot of paper. So I actually ran out of paper. So I had to be creative. Anyway, that's a whole other. <laughs> uh, can't order another set because Tamara said, oh, you got the cook one instead. I understand, Jennifer. I understand. <laughs> All right. So this is a slide and lock card. 
that's the inside. And this is the outside. It shows better when it's not on the card because this piece gets hidden. Well, that's lovely just the way it is. But anyway, look at that die. Isn't that fabulous? That'll teach me for not buying the die with the set. So that's the third card. So this class is $40, includes the stamp set. If you're long distance and I have to mail, um, if I have to have the uh, stamp set set directly to you, we're running out of time, so it's $50 for long distance. Porch pickup for Edmi anybody in Edmonton. So that's that class. Now, what cards did I do for the gig on Saturday? I can show and tell those. If I can find them. Okay, get in there. Oh, forget you. Where, okay, this is one of them. This is the one that I called Crafty Embossing. Oh, the other one's already cleaned up. Shut up. Look at me go. That's how, oh wow. I was on the ball. Okay, so here are the ones I did uh, for my spotlighting technique. Christmas! Spotlighting. Another one, spotlighting. And this one I called crafty embossing. Look at that embossing folder. I love it. So it's just embossed and then you take a um, white craft ink. I might show these tomorrow and check it out Tuesday. We'll see how my day goes. Tomorrow's another crazy day of um, uh, physiotherapy and I have to get Rebecca her pants and stuff like that. Might have to get some groceries in the house, you know, stuff like that. So we'll see, but I might show those tomorrow. I might show another technique. What I was going to do, uh, I'm can you tell? I didn't feel like making more cards. <laughs> Another technique I was going to show and then abort it at the last minute is uh, mirror image. So look at Mr. Frog. So Mr. Frog, if he's sitting in the, on the bank of the river, there's his reflection. But then I lost the will because I didn't know how to finish off the card. <laughs> so I didn't. But what I thought I might do tomorrow night actually is um, I might do split negative, the split negative technique. So that's something that I, I think I want to do. So there. All right, that's show and tell over. Now, let's go back to this and see if I can make a masculine card out of this. Why not? Let's do our six by, you know what? I'm just, I'm not going to do six by six. I'm going to do five. So I'm going to cut that one inch off anyway. And then I'm going to go two. Are you? You can work on a blog. Oh, you're going to work in the building, <laughs> Mary. Okay, I need my glasses check. I'm like, what? You're working on a blog? I'm going to work in the building. Okay, so that one was five. This one's going to cut to four. And this one can cut to three. Craig is still working from home. Can you believe it? I, maybe they'll go back in July. Maybe they'll go back in August. He's on vacation right now. <laughs> and so he says, like, that seems really bizarre because um, the only thing that's different right now is he doesn't have to check his phone every now and then. Like, it's not like he drove to the office. He's been home since a year ago, April. So to say he's on vacation, he says this is really a non-cation. Okay, let's get out some scraps here and use. Look at all these. I'm going to use Knight of Navy as my base. Okay, so I got a lot of scraps. That's when I know it's time for a BOGO sale. A lot of times I'll take all my scraps and just sell them. Here, like five bucks, take all these scraps. Make them go away. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one's going to be two and a quarter. And we're going to go five and a quarter. Two and a quarter. By four and a quarter. And two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Like this really is pretty easy, cutting wise, right? You just have to figure out your layouts, like how you're going to arrange them. So this is what I'm saying. If I did one this way, and one this way, and one this way, that could work too. So why not? Okay. Since there's still a whole bunch of you watching, I think you're all just crafting hard. 
Tracy, I'm surprised to see you here, my friend. You're so busy. Okay. All right. Uh, let's talk, people. People who aren't demonstrators. It's the last few hours to get in on the starter kit deal. $206 worth of product for $135 flat in Alberta. Some provinces you have to pay PST. I know it's that's a new requirement in BC. Um, and Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Uh, and I think there's one eastern province that you have to as well. It's not Ontario, though. Not crafting. Okay, well, that's good, Tracy. Okay, that's fine. Um, yes, so you pick out 206 in any product you want, but you only pay 135 possibly plus the PST. Um, best deal going. Best deal going. Now, I kind of do want to angle this, but there's not a lot of room. I don't know what to do with that. What's our off-white paper called? Oh, the very vanilla. Very vanilla. Can anybody else just sit here for like half an hour and just move pieces of paper around their desk? <laughs> I can, like I do, I do it all. Like, no, that's not quite right. No, that's not quite right. I don't know. Oh, so I like that one for guys. Let's do this in the middle. Let's make sure that this is opening the right way. Okay, I'm going to do this in the middle. Oh, Nicole, what paper did you use? What paper? Okay. I told myself I was going to stick to the diagram. So maybe I should be doing a triple time stampin' layout tomorrow. That's a technique. I'm watching you move the paper, <laughs> Janet. <laughs> is that more interesting or less interesting than the actual person who is moving it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... All right, so this is going to be my guy card. What am I going to do for guy tag? Do I have a smaller white? This is where I'm like, oh, I don't feel like die cutting. Die cutting hurts my back. That's too big. Uh, I just need a plain old, I need a Father's Day card. No, I don't. I, well, I do and I don't. Do I, who am I gonna give a Father's Day card to? I guess I can give it to my dad. <laughs> That's a novel idea. Um, but I usually give him fancy ones that are something to do with fish. I have a happy Father's Day, handsome. I mean, okay. I guess I could give that to my husband. <laughs> Why not? Does this have a die that goes with it? No. Why not? The heck. What the heck, you guys? What is this? That would have worked if it was the right size. Here's what I could do. Where's my little dies? Where's my dies gone? Here they are. I could do this. Yay, Dana! Okay, so you see what I'm doing here? Like, this is too long. Like, I, I want this shape, but I don't want all this nonsense. So, I'm going to MacGyver myself a tag. So I'm going to run it through the die cutting machine again. About like that. Now, the trick is going to be lining up the little stitching things, but... I can do it. I'm sure of it. I'm sure I can. I'm not sure, but I'll give it a good college try. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Ta da! It worked. The only catch is it has one extra little cut here. That's okay. No guy I know is going to notice that. Oh, it could be a little titch smaller. But oh well. There we go. Look at me. Okay. 
I need some light of 80. I love this color. I don't use it enough. Okay. Have a happy Father's Day, handsome. Sure. Why not? Nice, Carolyn. Do it. Okay, that was nicely crooked. Awesome. Love when that happens. Hmm. I could try the other side, but... Oh, is that straight? I don't know that terribly. Let's see what happened here. So that one was up on the M, so let's try to go down on the M. I don't know if it's just mounted crooked or if it's me. Better. Bothers me a little bit that the stitching is the wrong way now, but <clears throat> I'll get over it. Now, should I do a bow tie? I want to do a bow tie. Look at me go. I'm going to do a bow tie. This was not on the agenda this evening, I tell you. Okay, let's grab the scrap. I'm going to do a few. And then I'll have them for next time. This is what I usually do. If I'm going to stamp and cut, I like to do it. Thanks, Jennifer. I like to do it kind of in batches, right? And then you've got some extras for next time when you're trying to create. You can see if you like it. Okay. Let's keep going. we have a good night of navy ribbon we can always dye our white ribbon oh my okay let's see if we can do three of these okay two oh what am i doing one more one more. Two. Okay, there we go. There's our three. Don't think I'll use all three on this card, but you never know. All right, this I gotta pop up with dimensionals. Navy twine? Do I have any navy twine? I mean, I do in my stash, but that's way over there. And if I get up, I might fall down. <laughs> uh, my back won't take it. So I don't think I have any navy twine handy. Huh. I'll have to... Well, Craig says I'm not allowed to use, like, embellishments on a guy card. He's like, no, stamp it and hand it to us. Don't be getting all crazy. Ooh, I like this. Have that offset too. Yeah, like that. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like it a lot. So, oh, see, that looks like a hair bow. <laughs> there. We go. Oh, yeah. Yep. Get one bow. Tie, not a bow. <laughs> this could be used as a bow, though, on... A girl project. What have we got for animal? This is crooked. Totally crooked. Like center it. Hello. Look at that. What have we got for critters that could have a bow in their hair? A swan. A swan could have a really big bow in her head. <laughs> That's a big bow. Could put the bow on the frog. <laughs> Thanks, Shana. Uh, what else we got for critters? We got the turtle. Probably a little big for the turtle. A little big for Mr. Turtle. Oh. <laughs> it's like some of those um, 
the babies that the moms put those great big oh my goodness those great big things now if i wanted to again i could take these white doodads that i found and lost and found and have lost again <laughs> and i could color them with a sharpie or not with a sharpie but with one of our blends um but i think that's where i have to stop on guy cards i'm not allowed to do anymore i like this layout a lot so you know what i'm gonna do one more i'm gonna do this this color this paper because i cut it and if i don't make it tonight i know it'll end up in the bin again that's what usually happens i'm gonna do this yeah i'm gonna do that same layout uh with what color does this look with blue weird probably weird Huh. What about the other colors that match this paper? Where is my paper? Could you use that as a layer? Like, I'm desperate to use it up, so this is good. Oh, thanks, Tracy. I like this one. These ones, eh, they're not blowing my hair back. I'm not going to lie. So maybe I don't want seven of them like that. Can I use this paper to layer with this paper? It's kind of falling flat. Maybe I don't want this paper anymore. I like this blue one. What else could I do? Huh. Uh, oh, how about these flowers? These are retiring. Oh, the hydrangea paper is retiring. I've lost the love for this one. I like this layout a lot. So... Go away. You're dead to me. Go away. What do we got here? Thanks, Chris. Oh, I can't call you Chris. I got to call you Chris Stones from Australia. Just sounds better. No offense to your name. <laughs> I'm not feeling any of these papers, though. Not feeling it, peeps. Oh, what else have I got? I mean, I could use new, but the whole point is to use up old. I don't know. Have a happy Father's Day. I need birthday cards, darn it. Here's some old paper. I might have 19 packs of this. Not feeling it either. Here's just call it a day. Heavens, 747. I like these. But I don't send out very many uh, masculine cards. Maybe I could just... Can I send a lady this card with a happy birthday, but without the bow tie? Is that acceptable? <laughs> Chris. I'm something. I Well, see, I jinxed myself, Chris. I did a big post yesterday about how magnesium... Oh, it's the cat's pajamas. If you're, you know, I've been sleeping like a baby for the last three nights. Totally jinxed myself. Last night, I didn't, I slept so lousy. Nope, not feeling this paper either. Um, huh. How about... Black and white. Nancy, this one's for you, girl. It's new paper, not gonna lie. Oh, I'm all stuffed. Allergies, man! allergies all right so this is a this is a pack of paper that you can get when you host a party and when you hit two hundred dollars you get this pack of paper for 24 credits oh, phone is ringing craig made the mistake of answering the phone today when it was like somebody telling us we're going to jail if we don't press one or something right so now the phone's been ringing off the hook yeah all right are we feeling any of these black and whites Ooh, yes, please. This one. Hydrangea, says Donna. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. You do hydrangea, Donna. And share accordingly. See, this one's so visually annoying. You can't have another really visually annoying one. So you have to go something subtle. So let's do these two. Maybe. And it's 7.49, so we better 
crap. And you get like 48 sheets in this pack. It is like the best deal going. Okay. Can't breathe. All right, this one I'm going to do five... Again, I already have so much paper for this current catalog. Uh, oh, I should be doing Christmas. What am I doing? I should be doing a Christmas card. All right. Well, this one's going to be five. I will go two. 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 Five. Oops. I think. Sorry, I got all kinds of paper on my computer. So if my sound went down, that's why. <laughs> Here's a tip: if you're using a 12 by 12 inch piece, cut six two inch piece. Oh, cut six two inch by 12 inch strips, and you'll get six cards from that 12 by 12 sheet. No waste. Look at the big brain on you, Jan. Thank you. That makes total sense. That's a great idea. I'm at the point now where I'm quite happy to waste. <laughs> That's a sign of a problem, I know. All right, let's get on my black paper. Uh, is that even two and a quarter? Nope. I got scraps of this. Oh, I need a better system. Oh, I can't breathe. I have darn allergies. All right, let's do two and a quarter. Five and a quarter, four and a quarter, and hey, Coda, did you bring me? Oh, you brought me your glove. I cannot play with you right now, buddy. Mama's working again. He usually comes in with a toy, and then he just drops it on the floor and curls up. Like, okay. Uh, Seven fifty-two. Okay. We're still good. That doesn't look like the right size. Here we go. What's going on over here? One. Love me some black and white. Two. I think it's just, you know, I don't love this paper. So, I don't know. I, 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 I ordered incorrectly for my paper share, so I ended up with a ton of it. And I don't love it, so it's hard for me to make a card I love when you don't like the paper that much. Okay, where did my card? Coda, I can't play, bud. I'll have to wait, honey. Okay, nope. Okay, this isn't the right size. This is not... See, like, you, boy, when you've been crafted as long as I have, I'm like, that is wider than five and a half. It was, in fact, five and three quarters. I know my cards. Did you guys win? How is everyone? What? What? Hi, Jen. Jennifer, I mean. Good. Did you guys win? Did who guys win what? What are you talking about? Nicole? Donna. Sorry, didn't mean to give you two. I don't know what you're talking about, Nicole. Did we win? Did we win? But what? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, and the golf. Okay. I was like, what? You went golfing, Jen? You, Jennifer? You, oh, I was going to say, you golf? What? Stop it, you guys. Stop confusing the old girl. Okay. Now Jennifer, don't distract Nicole. She's card making. Okay. Jennifer's being a bad influence. Let me move this over here. This one, I think I'll go. Here. Sure. And then 
I need something to stamp sentiment on. What shall my sentiments be? Oh, Coda, yes, I know, my buddy. I know. I know, now you got a whole new toy. I know. <laughs> He's got a whole new toy. Where's my favorite stamp set for birthdays? Where are you? What you got, Coda? What you got there? Hey, what you got? Oops, I crashed. Hang on. Where's my stamp set? Where is it? I'm looking, but I'm not seeing. What you got there, bud? There it is. Happiest of birthdays. What you got? Got something that squeaks. Oh! There we go. Get out my little basket of goodies. You always want to have a basket of goodies. Thanks, Jennifer. So, let's see what we got here. That's too big. This one's good, but we don't have stitched ovals anymore. How about... Oh, that one's already stamped with a flower on it. How about... This is from the hippo... Ha oh, no, that won't fit. Huh. I've got... No. How about... What did I change the sentiment? That one's too big, too small. Jennifer, are you cheating on us? I hear... I see other things popping up here on the... Achievers site. Are you uh, are you holding multiple conversations at one time? This one. No, I want the oval. Why did they take away my ovals, you guys? I'm not okay with that. There, that one fits. I want the ovals. Okay, I have to pick one and go with it because it's almost eight o'clock. It's like three minutes too. All right, well, here we go. I need some black ink. Now, one of these I just re-inked and one I didn't. So let's see which one it is. One. Let's see which one is juicier. I think this one looks juicier. You always have to have a couple of belated birthdays on hand. Because Facebook will tell you, so-and-so's birthday. You're like, ah, oh, dang, damn it. Okay, so. Ta-da! Oh, oh well. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. That works. So it has to be centered. But the rest of the card isn't centered, so maybe that... Well, that just bugs me. No, <laughs> hang on. It's it's too. It's not off centered enough to to say, hey, that's supposed to be off center. <laughs> so I need to fix this. Because it will drive me insane. I know it's a short drive, right? that that one goes like that so it's the same distance from this to the edge as from this to the edge is what I'm going for here visually pop this up on the ever elusive dimensionals here there we go could add some ribbon but I think I'm going to add my black, my matte black dots, maybe. But that probably should be done. It's very bright in here. Holy. It looks more brown, but look at that. Okay. Let's see what I've got for my black dots. Which container it's in. That's the question. I've got like nine containers. 
Nope, not that one. Here they are. Look at that, seven fifty nine. It's all over except the dots. So let's see if we go one. Uh, one could just stop with one, but you know me better than that. Should I just stop with one? It's very not like me. Two, three. Ha! Eight o'clock. Nailed it. Ta da! Another thing I could have used. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, check it out. Check it out. These would have looked good. We've got back Brad's. Could have done square black Brad's. Yes, please. Next card. Okay, I like that. Okay, scrap my first ones. I don't like these anymore. <laughs> They're trash. Don't like these ones. Uh, I know, I love it. I love when I come up with things that I didn't know I was going to come up with. That makes me happy. Look, so... The ones I like the least are the ones I did today for the class. Like, okay, so, I mean, they're okay. But these ones I love. I want to make a whole bunch of these. Yeah. Yeah. So let's forget, let's forget we saw those. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Janet. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate you guys spending time with me um, for a whole hour. Like, sometimes I try to watch the replays and I'm like, wow, you do ramble on, girl. But anyway... <laughs> Thanks, Shanna. Um, is it Shauna? No, it's not Shauna. It's Shanna. I'm calling you Shanna. I think that's what it is because Shauna is S-H-A-U and you're a Shanna. So I'm calling you Shanna. All right. Uh, I'm going to take some pictures and I'm going to post them sometime in the next 10 minutes and you do the same. And then you'll be entered into my draw for some sort of prize sometime between now and Christmas. <laughs> hey, hope I didn't see you sneak in there. Thanks, Dana. I like these ones a lot. Super lot. Yay. Every Monday, I have no idea what I'm going to do. And um, every Monday, I like it. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't know what we're doing, but I'm going to show you something for Check It Out Tuesday. So meet you back here at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me. See ya.